Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna review this, the Ultra Human M1 Glucose Sensor. I'm making this video because a year and a half ago, I tried the Super Sapiens Glucose Monitoring System. I have the Ultra Human Ring Air. Ultra Human asked me, would I be interested in reviewing the M1 Glucose Sensor? And I said, yes, they sent it to me for free. I haven't been asked or told what to say. I've just been asked to review it and make all of that what you will. Now, I'm not a diabetic. This is not medical advice. This is looking at the sensor from a runner's point of view. So who exactly are UltraHuman? Well, they are an Indian tech company based in Bangalore. They're sponsors of the UAE cycling team. They make the Ring Air. They have the M1. They're developing a blood vision product that's available in India and I think coming to the UK and the US. And there is a new home monitoring device that they're about to release later this year. So what exactly is the M1 system? Well, it's based on a glucose monitor, the Free Libre 2, made by Abbott. Yes, that Abbott of world marathon fame. It comes in the packaging. It's, it's not disguised when I got the Super Sapien system. I think they tried to disguise it. Ultra Human don't. It can be bought separately. I don't know if it would then work with the Ultra Human. But essentially, what Ultra Human do is they provide the app and integrations and insights and all of that to go with the M1 system. The packaging is really nice, as with all of the Ultra Human products I've tested. This says Deep Health Insights on the top of a very dark black box. And inside in the box, there are various ones of these, which are patches to cover over the sensor. And then there's an alcohol wipe, and we'll go through those. How do you apply the sensor? Well, I made a video before the Berlin Marathon in 2022 of me applying the Super Sapien sensor, which is identical, it's the same Abbott sensor. So I just run that here again. So here I am in the hotel in Berlin before the off, and I'm unpeeling the pack with the uh, sensor in it, and then unscrewing the applicator, and then I'll go looking for a hard surface. You line one up against the other. It's fairly easy to do. There's guides on them, and then you line one up against the other, get a hard surface to plunge, and there we go, it's plunged. And then I'm gonna look for uh, a soft fleshy spot on the back of my arm to apply it so you can see I'm literally trying to find a clean soft spot and then uh, whack and it's in that's the white sensor on my arm sensor itself is about an inch wide it's, this is this is a picture of the sensor here it's got a tiny little fiber that goes inside in your arm it's in my arm now I haven't noticed it at all two really important pieces one is Ultra humans send you an alcohol wipe or two alcohol wipes with one for each sensor. It's really imperative you use this. I actually bought a whole box of other ones and probably alcohol wiped my arm to death before I put it on, but that, that I learned the hard way. The other thing is Ultra humans send you these patches. I wouldn't use these. These are like decorations. I took this on about 10 minutes ago just for the video. Um, I, I took these and I applied them to various things, but when you, they're not sticky at all. So I looked on the internet and I bought a packet of these, which are type strong 20 black adhesive patches. So I bought these and that's what's sitting right under this sensor and works really well. I haven't had the slightest problem this time around using the alcohol wipes and new patches. In fact, taking it off at the end of the two weeks, it was really sticky. I had to really take it off, but yeah, I fully recommend get yourself some proper cover patches and use the alcohol wipes. Once it's in your arm, you just hold up your phone and you tap against it and you'll feel a haptic feedback. It's really very simple. Then it takes an hour for the sensor to warm up and it'll tell you all this in the app. And then I think it says it takes about 24 hours to be accurate. But yeah, it's very easy to get it up and running. What was I expecting to find out? Well, the one thing I wanted to find out, and I have uh, had two sensors, so I had a, they're two weeks each, so four week period. What I wanted to try and find out was, was my fueling strategy going to work for the Boston Marathon? And I had been uh, previously running a Morton and I changed over to Kendall Mint. So to test, I went on a three hour long run. It was up and down hills of Dublin. I was in zone five for 48.9% and zone four for 29 0.1%. So it was a hard enough old workout. And what I was able to tell was I had absolutely no crashes during my three hour workout. I had slight dips here and there. I, I mean, I was going up and over hills and so the, the energy out was, was different each time. But 
I could see that effectively my fueling strategy was stable and that gave me a huge amount of confidence going into the marathon itself. And again, in the marathon, it was, it was my fueling strategy was very stable. It trended down slightly over the course of, of the marathon, but effectively after a while, I stopped taking any gels. I was downing so much water, I didn't want to take any more gels. And after a while, I, I took it easy. But yeah, I found that using the glucose monitor really helped me in getting some confidence in the fueling strategy for the marathon. And yeah, that was, I, was, I was really pleased about that. UltraHuman present the data in their phone app. I use it for data on the ring and it was really good to get it combined. The ring combined with the uh, glucose was, was really good because what they do is they send you a lot of nudges. So UltraHuman sort of says, maybe you should look at this, maybe you should look at that. And I found that very useful with the ring. And it was one of the things I was interested in, in with, the, with the glucose sensor is would the two work together? And largely they do. You get weekly reports and you get various scores. There is a weekly report on the foods and kind of tells you what's good going well and what's not going so well. Integral to that is the fact that you link with uh, my fitness pal. So I can log the foods in my fitness pal and then the, the sensor will know that I've got a boost based on some food and it can tell whether that food is contributing well or badly. That's kind of how it goes. So you can get a fueling score and you also get a food score and a metabolic score. And again, it's a slightly gamification of, of data. I didn't pay too much attention to all of those. I really paid attention to what happened on my big long run. And yeah, that was what I was trying to find out. As I said, I really liked the nudges. I was getting little hints all, all the time. Could you try this? Could you, could you look at this? Look, you crashed here, look, you peaked here. These kinds of things. One of the downsides of uh, the UltraHuman system is there is no web application to look at it, no web interface. There was on Super Sapiens, and, and I think Super Sapiens have gone out of business, but there was no, there is no web interface, which would have been really much better because you could have had much bigger data and looked at it more closely. Super Sapiens tried to have a watch interface. It didn't really work. So UltraHuman haven't bothered with that, which is fine. It, 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 I think the integrations were too difficult, but a web interface would be really useful. I found myself really poring over the iPhone screen, which is too small. And I think that UltraHuman has so much data that you could look at and, and because there's no web interface, I think you're losing out on some of the analysis of that data. I have no problems using any of the sensors for four, it's nearly four weeks now. And they're comfortable all the time. I could sleep even lying down on my arm didn't cause any, any difficulties. I certainly basically didn't notice them and that's partly because I did use the alcohol wipes but I got really good patches. These are the ultra human ones and this is the uh, TES ones, Type Strongs. They look almost identical but this is way stickier than this. This is good for decoration and branding purposes which is what I've done it here that the Type Strong one is underneath. And, and when I took it off, the, the first one I took off, it, it took a bit of, 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 of peeling off the, sen the, the patch and then the sensor was stuck really well onto my arm. So yeah, it was really easy to use once I had the heavy duty patches. Glucose sensors aren't cheap. For a four week period, which is two sensors, it's 189 euro, 299 US dollars, 169 pounds. And for 12 weeks by comparison, it's 539 euro 699 dollars and 459 pounds and you can get them annually and you can also get them on amazon rather than just buying direct from ultra human because they're not available from ultra human as far as i can see in all of the countries should you buy the ultra human m1 glucose monitoring system well i would say yes if you want to look at glucose monitoring it, it, it works i mean it does exactly what it's supposed to do it, it, it works i would prefer a web interface and I do, it is something I'm going to do again because, I mean, I, it would be expensive for me to do it year round and I wouldn't get enough data usefulness out of it. But certainly in, in testing whatever type of gel or nutrition I wanted to use on a long run, it would be really good to do. So I could see myself a four week period is ideal to do the sort of last couple of training runs before a marathon and then the marathon itself and then some analysis. Yeah, I'd be very happy to buy a set of these for the next marathon. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it would be great if you'd hit the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff in the description below and I'll happily answer any questions you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there. Some great videos there. Thanks for watching. Till the next video, just keep running along.